Located in Taraba State, northeastern Nigeria, Mambila Plateau is one area of enormous beauty and huge tourism significance. The plateau is under the Sardona local government area in the southeastern part of the state. The journey to Mambila Plateau starts on a snake like road from the foot of the mountain to the top. After a 25 to 30 minutes drive, then you start savoring the beauty of the plateau. There are rolling hills backdropped with exotic flora and fauna. It has a lot of scenic views to behold. While watching the mountain chain and the curvaceous valleys, you will have a breath of fresh air that is highly uncommon in many other parts of Nigeria and indeed Africa. The Mambila Plateau measures about 96 kilometers along its curved length. It is 40 kilometers wide and is bounded by an escarpment that is about 900 meters high in some places. The plateau covers an area of 9,389 square kilometers. It has an average elevation of about 1,600 meters above sea level, making it the highest plateau in Nigeria. Some of its villages are situated on hills that must be at least 1,828 meters high above sea level. Some mountains on the plateau and around it are over 2,000 meters high, like the Chabbal Wadi which has an average height of about 2,419 meters above sea level. It is the highest mountain in Nigeria and the highest mountain in West Africa if Cameroon's mountains such as Mount Cameroon are excluded. This area of natural beauty has one of the best weather conditions in the country which is cool and always accommodating all year round. Daytime temperature hardly exists 25 degrees Celsius on Mambila Plateau. The driest months are from December to January with relative humidity dropping to about 15% while the wet season usually starts from August. The Mambila Plateau is also free of mosquitoes and sese flies. Tourism wise, apart from the beautiful terrain that is pleasing to view, the plateau has enormous sites of tourism significance. There are numerous waterfalls which include the Ju waterfalls at Mbamga, the Vakude waterfalls, Tamla Fiala waterfalls and the Ngoroje waterfalls among many others. Some of the other tourist locations in Mambila Plateau include some historic sites among which are the famous cave in Mbamga and Ndumiyaji cave. There is the rock with a giant footprint of an ancient warrior at Kabri, the rock with a horse footprint and the historic rock of the Mbar people that looks like a woman and her daughter. Economically, treasures abound on the Mambila Plateau. The plateau is richly blessed with fertile land and various economic crops grow well there. The crops include bananas, where you have numerous banana plantations, plantain, pineapple, colonel trees, pears, coffee arabica, cocoa, and lots of other fruits as well as numerous food crops such as maize which can be harvested twice in a rainy season among many others. The most developed economic plant on the Mambula Plateau is tea. The widespread production of tea leaves from over 6,000 farms and processed into packaged tea is the reason for Nigeria's listing among tea producing nations in the world. The lengthy rainy season and the fertile land which favor the growth of fresh grasses make the Mambula Plateau an ideal place for livestock like cows, goats and sheep to thrive 
with the cattle on the plateau being unique species and bigger in size than majority of cattle that live outside the plateau. What else do you aspire to enjoy in terms of enjoyable weather condition and beautiful environment for sightseeing as a tourist that the Mambula Plateau does not provide in addition to numerous economic potentials? The people of the Plateau are also among the most accommodating set of people you can ever meet. So, include the Mambula Plateau on your list of places to visit Make the move and enjoy the pleasure of visiting one of the most beautiful places in Africa.